weeks of planning within hours within 24 hours we were already launching it was just so crazy and, and it then, was and then within 72 hours we hit around a million dollars of it. what's up guys namaste this is shuya kashna here and welcome to another episode of the super creators assemble show Super Creators Assemble show. I think uh, maybe a bit long. We need to kind of figure something out here, right? Um, where we bring you everything love, light, and positivity, and maybe even borderlining moving into NFTs and the Women Unite and Super Creators NFT launch, which came to the reveal just uh, not so long ago. And so we're very excited to actually share some insights on what's hap behind, happening behind the scenes and how you can actually um, learn a thing or two to be able to embrace this knowledge and take your life to the next level. Now, I have a very fun panel here today. Well, hopefully they're fun if they're not jet lagged, some of them. Um, and I'm gonna start on the further side there. We have the amazing... Angela. Quintero. <laughs> Namaste, everybody. <laughs> nice, thank you. And then we'll move from Angela over to our project manager who's actually leading with the show, uh, all the shows right now in all the different NFTs to... Tech. Why is it? Why is it only Tack today? Yeah. I thought you were going to say that. It's Tack Chi Ho. <laughs> uh, but everyone can call me Tack as well. Tack Chi Ho. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we move over from fresh from India. Has just got, <laughs> gotten, fresh. Just get gotten off the plane to the amazing... Namaste everyone. I'm Aditi. Just landed from India, like Master said. Just landed. Just like the Super Creators just landed. And um, I know, Aditi, how does it feel to be a, an NFT? Oh, it feels amazing. Have you seen I've, your artwork yet? Yes. Have you I seen who owns you right now? Yes, just checked, just checked. Oh, okay. You're now actually two NFTs because you're both in Women yeah. Unite and Super Create and you're in uh, Women Unite as well. Yeah. So we have two NFT models here. We have the human human version of the NFT. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have both actually, yeah. Human and cartoon. <laughs> Indeed. It's jet lag. <laughs> 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 so, Tak. Hey, how's it going? Uh, Tell me, what, what does it feel like managing two, hey, not just managing two, launching two NFT projects back to back within two weeks, hitting the million dollar launch mm -hmm. and first page of OpenSea. Yeah. How does that feel? Really, really, it's been really exciting. It's been really exciting. I, I, well, firstly, I had, I had no idea that I was going to get into the NFT space. Um, so that was a big surprise in itself. But to be able to have launched two NFTs within a matter of months is really such a huge achievement. So um, I'm, I'm really glad to be a part of this team and to have, have been able to, because I was reading the messages the other day, uh, actually on one of the, the Zoom calls, uh, just, just straight after the launch. And in, within hours of our launch, we already helped, like it looked like a, at least a hundred people make thousands of dollars, almost like like that. Wow. And some of these people were live in India, mm. so that a few thousand of dollars yeah. is really a it's life a changing amount. amount of money, right? Yeah. So it's been it's been so exciting, and it's just the beginning. So we we already have a few a few more NFTs coming out within the next few months. So. <laughs> Uh, it's just that we got one coming out in a couple of weeks time yeah literally coming out in a couple of weeks um so it's and been a lot of fun time. 10 days time and, days time. and yeah week time week month time. time so angela i heard you're doing some uh special diet now ready for your bikinis <laughs> yes i'm preparing you're myself doing bikini, mentally you're doing some bikini nft i heard is that is that correct yes <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we should put it out in public, but we're preparing. All the girls are preparing, not uh, just me. Yeah, but but I but I did say to Angela, An Angela, when when I first talked about the Beauty Queen collection that we're launching, uh, we we're in the car, I think, and then and then Angela said, um, and then I said, what she said, I I, I said um, Beauty Queen collection. I said what I think it should be like. I should I said we should be inspired by fashion and beauty and and mm. and maybe do something like Victoria's Secrets type of idea. When I said the word Victoria's Secrets, <laughs> said what? I said Victoria's Secret. She said, "What do you mean, like full body and whatever, like bikini?" And I said, "Yeah, but like probably like something, like uh, like on that sexy side, like that." She said, "Oh my God, master! Then then I I need to, <laughs> just, uh, I need to. Why 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 are we going for food? I think we were going for food at the time. Why are we going for? We food? were going for McFlurry. McFlurry. <laughs> <I was laughs> like, for McFlurry. what is this? 
we're going for McFlurry. And then she said, oh no, I need to look after this, look after that. And I said to Angela, I said, you don't need to worry about that because our message is about equality. <laughs> I said, so we are supposed to get all different people from all different <laughs> shapes and sizes. So I said, you will just fit into one of those categories. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and then Angela said, I don't want to be part of that category. <laughs> <laughs> but it, equality, no? Everybody should learn to love themselves the way they are. Okay, okay. Let's put a disclaimer out there. <laughs> I love myself. <laughs> However, because I love myself so much, I want to be in a category that I feel comfortable and blissful and peaceful. So this is the reason why I'm doing this. Mm. So... Mm. You still should love yourself, <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> mm. So, well, yes, so you very do. much love yourself, but you also love a different category. Of course, uh, you <laughs> always have to improve and evolve. So you have to evolve with what we're doing, and you know you're no longer, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, just evolving, you know, as usual. Always evolving. But are we are we seriously doing full body shots? <laughs> oh, oh, so you what do you think now I she, was she panicking? She was thinking of going for McFlurries as well. Now she. <laughs> what do you think I was? Well, you were not there, but I was quite no, panicking. No, actually, um, yeah, I, I, we, we haven't quite decided exactly what, uh, what, what to do. But I, it think, will come eventually. But, but, but I think the <laughs> Go beauty, with the flow. But I think the Beauty Queen collection. I mean, in my opinion, will be, um, maybe full body. Um. The costume and fashion design, we just need to figure out what, what that's going to be. Um, for the reason that we've been doing profile pictures all the way so far with super creators, mm -hmm. with profile pictures, with um, Women Unite, with profile pictures, and the one we're shooting tomorrow, the day after. A couple of days. In a couple of days, days time. Days. Yeah. Um, in 1998, Women of the World Collection. Um, so that will be profile picture. So I think maybe when we get to Beauty Queen, we'll do a, a, a full body. So yeah. to answer your question, that question, Aditi, yes. Most probably okay. now. That's most probably, probably. Most right. likely, probably. But actually, she, yes. she, she went, you went for Beauty Queen. Yeah, you were. Which, you which, were which, 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 you, you got crowned something. What did you yeah. get crowned recently? What so is it? That was, that, that's like Mrs. India Worldwide pageant. And mm. yes, I won. Wow. And I prepared myself. Excuse for that. me, you need to now explain how you prepare yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, 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 so I was just physically, I was just doing yoga and of course a lot of diet, a lot of diet for three months. Hi. A lot of diet. I was, I was, but, diet. but you, you're just yeah. eating dal every day. No, before that, <laughs> before that, I was doing that. And I actually cut down on sugar and salt, which helped me a lot. So, what year were you, Mrs. Salt. India? Did, no, this was, the recent, <laughs> this was a recent, this was a recent, it's a different pageant though, it, there's so many pageants, isn't there? It, 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 it was in October, oh, so and recent. it happened in, it, like the event happened in Dubai. Oh, it's cool. called what, Miss India it's Worldwide? Mrs. India Worldwide, yeah. Oh, okay, and what inspired you to get into so that? So in this one, Indians all around the world, like Indian women all around the world, they come together and they compete. Mm. That's why it's world. And you got crowned number one. Oh wow, we're That's sat big. next to number one. Yeah. Wow, so you're not just NFT, you're the real deal. <laughs> I, I actually so wanted to get my crown for this one, for this photo shoot, but then it's it, I can only wear it, like I cannot give it oh. to you. So you got it at home? Yeah. The crown? Yeah. But you, you didn't, didn't bring, it. bring it? No, because you could I... could at least <laughs> let us touch it or something. <laughs> yeah. How many yes. people competed? How many? Yeah. It was 180. 180 people? Yeah. Wow, worldwide. worldwide. Okay, that's impressive. That's Congratulations. Impressive. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Well, now we actually need to get prepared. <laughs> well, you can prepare them. And so actually, I'm also training. Uh, so after this, in March, I'm going to train like the, the next, the next, the next generation. generation. Yes. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. So, so did you did you have to like you do all like the dancing and 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 modeling and and and. Learn, you Everything. have to learn all that stuff. So there was there was performance, there was ramp walk, there was bikini uh, round, there was uh, traditional round, there was everything. It's like a like <laughs> how usual pageants happen. Was it? Did you enjoy the experience? Oh, I loved it. Okay. Are you able to do it again? But not, or because you're Mrs. India, you can't do it again. Of 
of course I you like can do it again. Run participating again. in some other event, something like that. Yeah, like oh. a subsequent one. Oh. I I I think I can. Mm. Once the one it's so your crown, you're a crown holder for one year. After that you can definitely go for another one. Okay. I think so. Why are you think so, you're thinking of going as well? <laughs> <laughs> Miss China. Miss China. China. Miss China. 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 <laughs> I have a coach now, so fancy my chances. You need to get the girls prepared, my son is <laughs> included. But I think this um this uh space right now that we're entering into is is um we're looking to go closely linked to fashion, to beauty, to uh commercial and this is what we were speaking about. Actually, it's, it's it's funny how things manifest because maybe a year ago we didn't. We, I mean, we we didn't know it was NFTs, mm. but the idea, philosophy, or the intent behind it was kind of like the same. And I guess in the same sense that a year ago you did not know it was NF. You would be doing NFTs, life coaching, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Like, but the intent is the same. The intent is empowering people and helping people and things like that. And it's funny how it everything just comes like manifests its way together like this. Yeah, I think like especially because we're a spiritual company or a spiritual passing on a spiritual message. And if you were to come out from the outside like like I think like you have the spiritual people and then you have the physical people we means like that are more like for example like not to like a stereotype anything but like if you were to see like looks only right like if you were to go into see a model for example in instagram or something like that like you will like kind of have a judgment i mean as a human we all have judgment whether it's good or bad whatever the case may be there is a judgment behind what we see right and we're bringing this new like beauty and and sexy and all of these different things that maybe of a spiritual person you might not feel aligned somehow because there's so many uh taboos and so many rules of what would be supposed to be a spiritual person like for example if you were to i don't know i don't want to go into much religion but this is the only thing that i can think of like for example nuns and such thing like i come from a background that sexy or dancing was a sin for example and and thinking this that now myself i'm putting myself out there to become more sexy <laughs> <laughs> or or more um you know comfortable in in putting my pop myself as a public image but understanding that i'm still angela a spiritual being and and i'm very spiritual person but that doesn't take away that I can experience the abundance at the end of the day. And, and and I think that's very important, at least on our end also to understand that what we're doing and the reason why we're doing the intent is not just to show off or, or to say, oh, I got this or all of these different things, but actually to understand that we're trying to pass on a message of love and spirituality and positivity to encourage people to be more awakened. And I think it is very important to establish that among these new projects that we're doing because it is a lot of physical, um, I don't know what you call it, pleasure where you have money and all of these different things. Um, but for me especially, something that is, you know, you still have the <laughs> the essence within you knowing what you're doing, but at the same time, you can experience beauty pageant, <laughs> a crown, all of these different things. So I think... I think the, the the most important thing is down to um, the intent. Mm. Like everything in life, I think is the same. And I think one like w- the point you're making there is is something that I guess I, I I I thought about this for many years. But then when I met Grandmaster for first time and we had the conversations around spirituality and what is spirituality, and he says spirituality is everything. And I remember going through the whole awakening journey and spiritual journey in the Himalayas and initiation. And then when that whole thing, because obviously that's a whole month of like pure non-physical, non-material world and, and, and practice. And then when I came back into physical world, 
mm, a material world and, and, and the business, the organization and what we do and the money world, you know, also. It, it was kind of a little bit like, a, hmm, am I supposed to be that right now? Or am I supposed to be this right now? Or how is this going to work? And so my conversations with Grandmaster, he said, you continue to do what you need to do. This is your thing. You need to do that. You need to... Uh, raise wealth consciousness, teach people about money and allow the mm -hmm. spiritual people to learn this thing. And this is the message. And while he's been, I mean, a Himalayan yogi who is very non-material is pushing me towards that direction and saying, yes, just go with it. And and I feel in flow with that. You know, I feel, I feel like this is, this is me. I, I went through my journey for a reason. You get what I'm saying? I went through all my business journey and everything for a reason. And I think it, it it's it's come together so beautifully, and the understanding that spirituality is everything. There is no divide. I think that people have different levels of understanding of I am spiritual, for example. I am conscious person. I think we will start one layer talking about the the average person, which is not so conscious. Then you'll talk about the second layer of people, which are the, I think I'm more conscious than the, than the average person because I feel I feel like I know what's going on, and I feel like most people are stuck in material world, and I'm not like that. That's what the second layer of people do. But then a lot of the second layer of people they don't realize that they're very judgmental on the two worlds, the physical and the spiritual. They're judgmental either way. They're judging. Yeah. And then I would say a different level of enlightenment is when you realize that everything is one. And it's very interesting because people often they say like, oh, God creates everything and God is behind everything and things mm -hmm. like that. And God is with you and all the rest of it. But then when it comes to anything, technology, NFT, material, crypto, God didn't create that one. <laughs> <laughs> Only evil people create that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's very strange. And I think they, they are also in denial and, and just trying to figure out, you know, what is this all about? But it's about accepting everything. Everything just is. It's not good, it's not bad. It's your mm -hmm. interpretation of it. And I always recall this um, interview I, 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 I shared quite a few times about uh, an interview with Ty Lopez. And I said, that was as weird as it sounds because at that time I didn't even, I didn't feel he was spiritual or anything like that. He, he drive, he's an orange Lamborghini and things like that, you know, mm -hmm. so I didn't feel it. But when he said something, it really just changed my perspective because when people were asking him and saying, you always seem to be showing off your Lamborghinis and your Insta babes and things like that in the background, you know, you're always showing off. Uh, what, why is it that you do that? Do you think it's an ego thing or something? They asked him and he said, People don't realize the messages I get every single day. And then the interviewer was like, what do you mean? And then he said, you know how many kids in local gangs off the streets message me every single day and saying, hey, Ty, thank you for telling me to read books. Thank you for telling me to get into personal development. Wow. Yeah. I'm now off the streets and now I'm doing my own business. Mm. And he said, do you know how many people I've took off the, off, the, off the streets like that? And he said, if I didn't have the Lamborghini, do you think they would have ever clicked on my video? That really made me think because I guess for a long time, and I think there's many people who can relate to this, moving into spirituality, sometimes they move into spirituality thinking they become a free spirit, but yet at the same time fearful of how they will be judged by other spiritual people. Oh, you're not supposed to have a nice this or drive a nice car or nice shoes and using money like that because you're spiritual. They're afraid. So they're stuck in a different type of, you can even call it like a spiritual prison like that. Mm -hmm. And I think the message that we're having here right now that Angela was just saying is basically meet them where they're at. If you want to help people, you got to see where people are at. And the reality is that's where people are at. They're in the material world. How do we help them? By going over and saying namaste? They're not going to listen to us. Mm -hmm. So if we drive the Lamborghini to them, and meditate next to the Lamborghini. Now they're thinking, huh, why is this dude doing that? Maybe I should try meditation, you know? So you, you, you speak their language and then, and, then, and then you can help them evolve. So I think it's, it's, that's kind of like our message. And I know on the surface level, while we go through this 
NFT and crypto space mm-hmm. and everything that we're doing, there's going to be a lot of spiritual people who disagree. Oh, oh you're working definitely. with Mark Zuckerberg <laughs> and you're <laughs> and you're part of the Illuminati or you know all that type of stuff in material world and crypto and all about money and things because they can only see very one dimensional one perspective. Mm-hmm. They're not seeing the intent behind it. The yeah. intent is if we use commercial and reach out to the masses, therefore we can help the masses. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's very important especially because it's needed like there's so much physical leaders like there's so much power behind money, right? And and when when there is so much power behind money and the intent is not the right one, there's so much not good things could happen but if we come with such a powerful energy which is money with the right intent i think we can actually create such a huge impact and and i think this is not just you know right now what we're doing but actually like how how one day we were speaking with master and our ceo acharya like is building a legacy like this message will continue on forever in generations but actually creating a, a very strong foundation that we bring them from the commercial inside and i think that's like one of the most for me personally it's like one of the most truthful fulfilling mission that i could have ever encountered in any of the companies that i have met right because working with a company that actually you can put your life in such a service knowing that even after you died right you still help people because you have created that foundation i think that is the intent behind being able to show the people the truth at the end of the day of what we're supposed to intend and and leave as a human so yeah. very cool very cool <laughs> yeah really really beautiful points and for me it was all about making the biggest impact and that's actually why i went into consulting to so i could eventually start a business and then when I was going through my spiritual awakening journey, uh, kind of similar to you, um, I just felt out of place. Um, and I was beginning to kind of raise my awareness and I just felt a bit trapped in that corporate environment. I felt like I needed to have a bit more space um, to just be my full self because I, like, I felt like I couldn't be my full self in that co- corporate environment. Um, which kind of led me to coaching. But then because I'm, I was... Uh, during the the year that I was a full time coach, I began to just surrender, to surrender and be like universe, put me wherever I need to be to make the biggest impact, because that is truly what I intend to do. And then it just led me to the Wealth Yoga Program, uh, which actually was a huge leap for me to to join. Um, I actually put myself in a huge amount of debt to join, and then it all turned out perfectly. So I followed my intuition, and as a result, we've ended up launching a bunch of NFTs, impacting loads of people and it's really just the beginning so um, I think once once you're kind of on that path if you if you fully surrender to it you'd be surprised at where you might end up um, so if you have trust in the universe then amazing things can happen miracles can happen um, at the moment every day feels like a miracle so yeah. yeah and I think especially like a big thing is is the community like I think myself I wouldn't be able to like grow in such a way that I've grown in the past days if it wasn't because of the community because we always talk about environment and our tribe is your vibe. I think we have one of the strongest communities out there. Like I haven't seen such community. Just like the other day we were with a man, uh, we were going to sleep and then I'm like, you know what, let me just go into Discord just just to check what's happening. And there were a couple of our community members just chit-chatting, talking about different NFTs and, you know, just like chilling. But at the same time, like supporting each other and being police, <laughs> police among the community, spotting out the negative people and putting them out. So it's not longer the team. It's not longer the people who, who are, you know, managing the, the boat, but it's also our people actually stepping up as leaders and i think that is the most beautiful thing because we're actually providing a platform where everybody wins if you win i win and it's it's, it's so beautiful to see that within a couple days it's, it's not even months within a couple months and days that feels like months or even years we have created such a beautiful place and and actually this is not just 
because it just happened. It's actually because also Master Shri Akashana has been working so hard on the community. Aditi, I know, is being part of here because of the community. I've been here. All of us has been here because of such strong community and providing that opportunity to to grow within the space. And if it wasn't because we have such a beautiful community, um, I don't think we will be where we are because everything about is about the people. It's like if you were to think about any country, the country is run based on people and you need to support the people. Otherwise, the people can destroy the government or can even lift up the government. So I think it is very beautiful what community uh, that we have today. You know, the amount of messages I got after like both the, both the launches, um, it was so beautiful. People were actually thanking me and I was like, well, what did I do? Maybe I'm just the, you know, the blessed one, the chosen one. But I know, like I, I, I spoke to Sabrina also on the other day on the live that, you know, we know that there's so many people who are behind this. It's not only me, but especially from India, there were people who personally like wrote lines and lines mm-hmm. that, you know, uh, thank you so much for coming up with Women Unite. And after SC um, launch also, they were like, thank you for being a part of this. So, like you said, it's actually very fulfilling, very fulfilling. Yeah. And in India, I think it happened uh, at right time because the new budget came and crypto and everything became legal. Oh, wow. And just like a week oh, back wow. when, when Women Unite was launched. Oh, wow. Wow. So it became legal and then everybody was like, okay, let's do That's this. Perfect. So it was like yeah. perfect Divine timing. timing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Every, everything was so divine, yeah. even that launch. Oh my that? God, that launch. That launch was crazy. <laughs> we launched, I don't know if you know about this, when we launched Super Creators and then we just sold out on 2,222 tokens, we had 888 I saw that, 888. Yeah, yeah, it's I saw crazy. that. Yeah. Can you believe, and then can you remember the last few months in satsangs, I've been telling people, eight. Eight, 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 eight. look out for the number eight. It's incredible, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think for the insights, it's, you know, knowing also that uh, on a more spiritual woo-woo side of things, yeah. um, we are supported so big by the universe. I think... Uh, but, but, but I, I think this well, is... These, like these the energy. Signs, I mean, these signs are so useful, especially when you're in trust and flow, like you guys mm-hmm. have been saying with it, is like... Mm, in total surrender mode, we're, we're, we're working as hard as we can. We're doing all we can um, while being surrendered to it. I think like, I don't know what rank we are right now, maybe rank 30 or something like that in yeah. charts or something. Mm-hmm. We're doing pretty well. Um, but it doesn't, It there's no, and I was saying this, to, I think it's a tack yesterday. It's just that it doesn't really matter. Like if if we're rank 50 today, that's that's a blessing. You know, if we rank a hundred today, that's a blessing. Out of hundreds of thousands of projects, you know, mm-hmm. if we rank, if we're on not on page two, if we're on page three, it's still a blessing. It's just totally surrendered, and and it seems like so miraculous. Where the more we surrender, the more it just blows up even more <laughs> surprises for us, and it's kind of like, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I think when 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 you talk about surrendering, it's not like surrendering and not doing nothing like i think the amount of hours the team has put in the amount of hours the community has put in because i know the spiritual side of it like you think like oh there must be meditation the whole day when in actual fact we could be in meditation but we, there's so much physical work behind of what we do and 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 we we work with the with the flow like for example for for woman collection like it just happened like it was one day we were chit chatting with master we were having dinner with with the whole team and and master was just joking oh you know you know do you remember we were just chit chatting and then next day we were like oh that's gonna have it's gonna happen with josh and polly and and everything is set and ready and then out of nowhere few messages here and there okay no not them all the girls and then and then women unite huh? and then without within hours it wasn't even days or, or weeks of planning within hours within 24 hours we were already launching it was just so crazy and, and it then, was and then within 72 hours we hit around a million dollars of, of, of traders like that was down to having um like you said a very a very strong community 
and it's and it's funny because I, I can't remember who who said this before or there's a quote or something that talks about uh, people see a lot of the time people see that oh my god you just did a million dollars in three days but it's the what well I would class in my journey of this personal development and, and empowering and as a speaker I've been 10 years in this journey so I think what people don't see is I've been 10 years in preparation preparing a community for these this three-day launch you guys get what I'm saying and I think people don't see that and people say how how to make a million dollars in 24 hours it's possible <laughs> we, we know it's possible yeah. but they, what they don't realize is the person who did that probably s spent the prior to that like the last five six seven ten years hard hardcore grinding and learning learning this stuff you know so it was so beautiful to see that the community we've been building through these years through manifesting miracles events through law of attraction through the youtube channel through the instagram through the facebook through all of these different virtual events that we've been hosting non-stop back to back back to back to back to back to back have finally filtered out the strongest people who stuck with us along the way mm -hmm. and it's funny because that's the, and, and actually, the funny point is that, I mean, it's, it's funny, kind of, <laughs> but maybe not so funny for the people who did leave, but it's it also, not just the community, but it was also the team. Mm. I don't know if, I mean, Angela probably can, can understand this, that just before this happened, I mean, and put this into perspective, when this happened, I mean, especially like people like Tak or, or, or Tim or Sabrina, you guys are extremely, extremely, like, the universe is so on your side yeah. that the moment you join the organization, the cash out on on the rewards financially mm -hmm. is literally like tens of thousands like that, like nonstop. Because the people before you, I believe like literally just before this happened, there was probably around two or three team members who just left the week yeah. before. It was crazy. And do you know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of that story about three foot from gold. Mm. Yeah. Mm. People dig, dig, dig for many, many, many years, many, many years, and then it's just that close. Simple. And just in that moment, for some reason, and I believe this is not reason down to just personal. I believe personal is one thing, giving up at one point, but it's also down to earth energies and universe's plans for that individual. For some reason, three people were taken out at that, at that time. Mm. It's very strange, isn't it? Yeah. And then when three people were taken out, Boom! The company, literally, the, next level. I mean, our, our our company more than ten x in the last three weeks. It, it, it literally did that, you know. So it's a very crazy thing. So as a company, as a, as a, as a, the team rewards, as the community, and this is what I'm saying by I feel like it's a filter of community because I mean today it's like when 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 we're on the call we've seen a guy called Sam Chung. You've met Sam Chung before. Yeah, 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 yeah. From yeah, he's way long before. Long time back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got people like Jane Mims. Jane still Mims here. has been. We got people from way back. I know people from five years ago in in my community mm -hmm. following my work, and they they're here now. But what does this show? It's just these people have been with us, with us, with us, with us, and suddenly, mm -hmm. bam! Now they're seeing all the 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 fruits. So I think it's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful to see. And I think on that note, also. Um, I know it's getting late and I know this one is a bit jet lagged as well, just <laughs> fresh off the plane. So we're going to have to wrap up this uh, this uh, uh, show. And uh, I would like to encourage everybody who's watching this, if you haven't joined the Discord channel yet, um, do join the Discord. It's free for everybody to join. We most likely will put it, the first link inside the description. Um, what is it? It's just a platform where you get to chat to everyone, you get to set your intentions, learn about law of attraction, and also learn about NFTs for those of you who want to. Um, so we have a very friendly tribe. I believe right now we're on a very um, humble 8,600 or something people. Um, and it's growing every day. Um, and we'd like to invite all of you to join. Join the family, join the tribe. They say your tribe is your vibe, your network is your net worth. So. Join us there, and occasionally I'm inside there as well, so do chat to us, and these guys are, but I heard that this one only spies on people, but does not lurker. talk. What do you call lurker. them? Lurker. Lurker, you call them lurkers, okay? <laughs> this one's a lurker, so you might she might not speak back, but she's watching you. And then these <laughs> sometimes are inside there as well, so do do find us and do chat to us. Um, that's the first link in the description, the Discord channel. 
Um, other than that, if you enjoyed this video or you got any value from it whatsoever, please do hit the thumbs up, hit the like button. Also, comment below, let us know where you guys have tuned in from. That's always nice to know. And finally, if you're new to this channel and you haven't already, remember, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it. That's a little bell sign, by the way. Because this year, we're dedicated to making videos sometimes. <laughs> so hold you accountable. <laughs> Whenever Sabrina feels like it, huh? <laughs> to hold you accountable to make it your best year yet. But for now, guys, we're signing out here. Namaste. What's up, guys? Namaste. This is Shri Akashna here. And welcome to another episode of the... Creative Show. No. So, oh, wait. It was Super Creators. Super Creators Show. Is that what it's called? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's called Super Creators Assemble. Did we say it last time?